being an actor in South Africa means living by your wits. And you need passion to sustain you when you're performing and when you're waiting for the callback after an audition. Kirosh Naidu has found his meaning in life as a stage and screen performer, and his talent and versatility have earned him roles in local and international productions. We met up recently to chat about how he came to be an actor and to get a career update. When Kirosh Naidu was in the final year of his bachelor's studies at the University of Cape Town, he won the prestigious Fleur du Cap Award for the most promising student of 2016. His career has kept him at a gallop ever since. Which is why he finds it important to take time out and step away from being a performer and focus his creativity on a more relaxed and contemplative form of artistry. Award-winning performer Kuroshin Naidu made his television debut at the age of 15 and has since gone on to make a name for himself both locally and abroad. He's just wrapped up his latest film and invited me along to indulge in his favourite hobby. Kuroshin. Hey! How are you? I'm good, man. How are you? Good, good. Is that... Are we matching? When I saw you walk in, I was like, okay, cool. That's what this day is. Great taste. Thank you. <laughs> now, this is the way you unwind. I do. Being an actor, it's a lot of people all the time in front of you and around you. I think you can just zone out here and just focus on something that you creatively want to do. Well, it all looks like a lot of fun. I'd love to join. Zelda! Hi. Hello, guys. You're going to need this if you're going to paint today. And then basically, you're going to take your canvas and you're going to just be creative. We've got about 40 varieties of paint down there on acrylic that you can choose from. We've got a whole table full of different brushes and sizes that you can use. It sounds like so much fun. Thank you so much. Wonderful. You started out presenting at the age of 15 on a children's show. What was that like? I think it taught me what the industry was about because I would be in school and maybe have to leave early or leave afterwards for a call and sort of working with cameras, which is sort of where I'm at now. So I think it gave me like the base of what I want to do and how to do it. You studied theatre and performance, but how do you continuously hone your craft? I carry a notebook with me everywhere. There's like a spark of something. For example, if I'm talking to you and I find something that you've ignited in my brain, I'll write that down to like remind myself or to like learn from every moment. You've played many roles. Are you able to tell me which one has been your favorite thus far? Well, recently I shot a series called Vagrant Queen and I got to play an alien. Oh, Full face. prosthetics, making like alien sounds and talking. It was just interesting because it's so out there that you have to just be as big as you possibly can. And then in theater, I did a piece in Durban recently that spoke about where Indian people come from and the journey from India as indentured laborers to Durban and what fishing meant to them and what fishing means to my dad and my uncles and I, I think that speaks more to my soul and heart. That's looking pretty good. Thank you. I was thinking I'd like to take you to my favorite Indian tapas restaurant. Now that's a hobby I can like. Young actors can fall into the trap of chasing a particular type of role, but Kiroshin's amazing versatility has enabled him to avoid being typecast. From fast-paced, upbeat commercials to intense human drama, he adopts a new avatar as if he were donning a seamless skin and brings the character to life on screen or stage. With authentic South Indian dishes on the menu, best savoured and shared tapa style, this is the ideal place to get to know Kuroshin better. Wow, this looks incredible. It smells good. What's a typical day like in the life of an actor? You wake up at like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, head to set, you'll get to your trailer, step into makeup, then step into your wardrobe. And it's a lot of setup, like lighting and the cameras. Sometimes you'll do a blocking and then you'll step off an hour later after the cameras and lights are set, you do your scene. What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Thad. Mr. Fantastic to all my fans. I'm here with the one and only Miss Poppy Flaherty. And we're live on set of the Banana Split. A large part of what you do is going for auditions. That can be quite taxing. How do you manage that? When I left Varsity, that was the biggest thing to sort of learn. How do you take rejection? But I've 
eventually learned that everyone's on their own sort of line or road. And I just like performing, so if it's an audition, you're gonna watch me perform in that one moment I get, and I'm gonna live in it. And what is the role that you're just itching to play, you know, get under your yeah. skin with? I would love a role with identity issues, just a boy coming of age, understanding who he is, what he is. Yeah, and that would stretch me, man. That would be quite cool. While the food is getting cold, shall we eat? Yes, please. Good? Very good. Hiroshima's career keeps him away from the foreshore for days, if not weeks on end. So he makes the most of any opportunity to enjoy the sun and ocean air whenever he can. He's also ambitious to broaden his horizons, so having to say goodbye to Cape Town is almost inevitable. We are so blessed, this is so beautiful. Oh, the weather's great. What advice would you have for other aspiring actors out there? I think they just need to keep going, hey? I do think the industry can be quite tough. There's a lot of rejection, but you need to have like a strong base and a strong family and friendship group to keep you going. And what would you say to the parents with kids who are aspiring to be actors? Art is the best way for your kid to make a change or express themselves. I think it creates well-rounded people. Where do you see yourself in the next couple of years? I would like to set up a base in the UK and maybe start doing some of my own work that I'm really into. Maybe direct. I wish you nothing but success. Thank you so much for your time. I've really enjoyed seeing Cape Town through your eyes. Thanks, man. Thanks for matching. Just for the record, he copied me. <laughs>